everyone, welcome to an unboxing video for the E-Flight P47D Razorback. Now this is something we announced um, a couple years back and it started hitting store shelves like beginning of 2018. But um, we just got one of these in stock um, that we're going to do a bunch of content videos for. And I thought, why not just do an unboxing video? So um, the other cool thing about this plane is it comes with a bunch of like scale details, um, bombs, missiles, fuel tanks, things of that nature. And visually it's kind of cool. So um, bear with us, I'm going to just run through this and we'll see what we find. So again, like I said, this is the E-Flight P-47D, one of our warbirds that everyone seems to love. Hopefully I open the right end of this guy for you. This is the Bind Fly Basic version. So it comes with the AR-636 receiver and it will have safe select. Pretty big box to be honest for it being only a 1.2 meter plane. But I, you're gonna see why here shortly if I can get this thing undone. <laughs> Pro tip that someone's pointed out, if you like your box art and you don't have room for, to store your box, cut along these lines. It makes for a nice little picture to hang on your wall. A little pro tip for you. So let's put this guy over here. Now, check this out. I'm gonna pull the manual out, otherwise it's gonna fall out. Make sure you read that for all your safety warnings. Check this out. That's pretty awesome, right? So let's go ahead and just start pulling stuff out because there's a lot of it. And all of this is optional. It just makes the plane look more scale. Check that out. You gotta love a four blade prop. Let's see, what else? Oh, we got more goodies here. And we're gonna go ahead and slit this. Like I said, I haven't opened this at all. I just knew it had a bunch of cool stuff. Yes. Oh, very nice. Looks like this is, looks like this is for retracts. There's a bind plug in here. Couple little tools, probably for a final assembly. We're gonna put that off to the side. I think this guy lifts out. Yes, it does. Sorry if that was loud. I didn't think about that before I threw it. Looks like this is maybe your horizontal stabilizer. Yeah, looks like, looks like that's your elevators. Put this over here. Um, looks like we have to cut another piece of tape. Now this takes a three cell LiPo, 1300 to 2200 milliamp hour. Looks like that's the, uh, for the rear, yeah, that will be for the rear there. Okay, very cool. So the wing is one piece. Check that out, very nice. Got your leads taped in there and they are labeled, which is awesome. Anyone who's had a plane with retracts, flaps, and ailerons will appreciate that. Uh, let's put this over here for now. I think all that's left in here is actually the fuse. The fuselage, I should say, for you guys. This thing looks sweet. <laughs> I know you can't see it yet. Actually, you know, I'm gonna lift this up and show you how well this is packaged. <clears throat> That's pretty awesome. Um, the likelihood of that getting damaged is pretty low unless your courier is on like a rally excursion to get to your house. Um, That's packaged very well. Yes, P47, very nice. Nice satiny finish. Well, it might be gloss to be honest with you. Very cool. Looks like the tail wheel is already installed. Not much left to do, to be honest. I mean, it looks like you bolt on your horizontal stabilizers, hook up your, yep, there we go. Hook up your elevator servo to them, install your prop, install your wing, and then realistically, I think you're just programming your radio at that point. Let me make sure there's nothing else I'm missing here before I throw this box out of the way. Actually, we'll put this guy here, maybe. Maybe not, okay. Anything on the bottom? I think we're good. Move that off the camera so it doesn't look as ugly for you. So yeah, I mean, essentially, there's not much that's gonna go into this build. Looks like maybe four screws for the bottom to hold this guy on. Your bombs, fuel tanks, 
missiles, prop. This guy will slide in. Let's see. It should slide in. I Make sure you read the directions when you do this. I just want this to visually look cool for the video. <laughs> Don't build yours like this. Um, these actually, I'm sure there's an up or down. Yes, okay. So these look identical, except one has the control horn for your elevator, which will be the right. So that would slide on here. Maybe. Come on, I just want it to look pretty. Yes. And this will require a six channel radio if you're gonna use retracts and flaps. Now, this is one of the planes where if you wanna use safe select, you have to share a channel with retracts or flaps, which can get tricky. Please ask us if you plan on doing that. We'd love to help you out and walk you through it. We'll probably do a video for it actually using this plane, but every plane's different. Um, the way they're wired, the way the AR636 is set up for each plane, just because it works on maybe a P51 sharing like flaps doesn't mean it'll necessarily work. What I mean by that is you want safe to share either with gear being down or you want it to share with the flaps being down. Sometimes it's reverse. So just talk to us if you need help setting that up. We'd be glad to walk you through it. Facebook, call us, email us. We can do that. So, uh-oh. So yeah, I mean, pretty visually cool. A good size um, probably would fit in most of your cars without having to take the wing off. But it looks like the wing... That's nice. Very high visibility here. It looks like the wing is held on with probably four screws. So nice and simple. And yeah, E-Flight P47. Uh, again, we don't do a lot of unboxing videos, so let us know what you think. Do you like seeing this? Do you want to see more? Um, we'd love to hear it. Um, it's kind of cool because it gives you a size perspective rather than us just showing it in the air in a product video. You don't really get to see a guy holding the plane and kind of get a scale of it other than the measurement on the actual box. So we'll let you guys go. Um, tune in for more. Make sure you subscribe if you're watching on YouTube. And I'll probably put a link to the product video for this guy at the end. That way you can watch it, learn more. And hey, maybe this would be a good plane for you to pick up here. Um, it's almost flying season here in Illinois. Kind of. It's February, but uh, we got our fingers crossed that the weather's going to turn soon because it's pretty ugly out right now. But uh, we'll see you guys next time. Thanks for tuning in, and um, so long.